Zir, but I'm confused why people ta keep taking Azir into Zerath. Zerath just has such a good laning phase against Azir, can starve him off farm, and if Azir needs anything, it's being a bit more aggressive, trying to get some more experience for himself. That's a good hook by Pee Wee Schwen over the top on the beast. Oh, the Zerath ultimate gets popped also. The heal not enough there, and that's a great ultimate for Azir. Right back into the tower onto Schwen, but a good stun there for Wailers, and Schwen lives on a solidity coming in as well. The dragon getting low here. Can they get it down first? Jarvan gonna come in, does get the steal onto that dragon, and now Schwen gonna dive in on top, but does go down. That's a crystal beast a little low as well, getting poked out by teleporting behind. They might look to fight this. They're going to go in. Are they going to opt in for another 50 50? Smart Schwen dives in again, but they're actually going to sell the team fight. Him actually has a crystal ankle there as well for that first kill. While Bucker will chase him now. That's a decent equalizer to try and trace out. But the dragon goes to LGD and Acorn might get away. He gets smited there by Beast. Slowed down there by the Q as well. And Bucker chasing him for the damage. Whalers off to the side now. He's going to stun up that kill. Almost going to get that kill. Bucker as well. Ella gets taken up by Whalers. Schwen over the top dives in with the Cataclysm. And Flandre now does get the Black Shield onto it. But that's a good double kill coming off for Zerath. Another stun. On time perfectly, and that's a full wipe there for LGD. Yeah, as Acorn gets a little bit aggressive in the bottom lane. Crystal does get aggressive on Acorn. They're going to dive back in. Good news to the ulti. Impra on the side. There's an amazing ultimate coming through, and the damage is more than enough. Now Ella, there's nowhere to go. We'll likely get another kill to Graves. Acorn though might take it instead. PYL's like, hey, give me the kill. But Acorn will look to take it, and PYL's forced to take it instead. Yeah, not able to pick up that one. It's poor to do when they're ahead. Pwl shot calling just makes him look so strong. That's an amazing look on the beast of the box. Not going to get him through the intervention. Does not save him from the Zerath ultimate. And there's another kill for LGD. 9-2 now. Barker with a decent amount of CS. Crystal actually in trouble in the bottom lane. Im just going to run in. That's a great smoke screen there on the hunt. Probably not enough. Im going to look for the ultimate. Finds it there and just takes out Crystal 1v1. Yeah, this glory for Snake is the fact that Rumble has now picked up another item. Wow. Barker, good dodge. Not enough though. Acorn finds him and gets the kill. Yeah, Wayless has become absolutely massive. I don't, with how quickly this game is falling apart, it looks like Snake might not have some answers. Yo, Beast going to get dropped there as well. The ultimate, not quite enough. Black Shield in there as well, but Schwen just dumps him with the Cataclysm. And now Ella in trouble as P.O.L. going to grab him up. And there's a double for the jungler. Now Flandre coming in. Look at the 1v4. Popsy Dolce gets played back, and P.O.L. gets the kill. Yeah, looks like they will be able to maybe trade a couple here, however. Acorn going in, does that a crystal. That's actually a triple, I think, coming off for Severe. Late into mid champion Black is there, Black is here. Yeah, Bucket though in trouble. The ultimate not enough there. Wayless gets an easy kill. Oh, Twin does get trolled by the wall. Don't have his teleport either, and now Beast is coming in. This is four people committing. Bucket trying to defend down towards the bottom. Acorn likely going to go down here. Who's going to get credit for that kill? Looks like it will be Ella, actually. Thought it might be Crystal, but Morgana picks it up for a little bit. But on the, honestly, these turrets, even then, oh, Snake. Oh. Ella almost dies. Oh my god, Imps Ultimate does pick up the kill on the Morgana. We'll be safe for now. But the hook does land on to Flandre. He is unbelievably dead. Does pop the Zonis, flashes out. Wayless, well, though, actually needs to keep chasing. Does get the Q, though. And he'll be able to pick up that kill. Hook almost landing there as well. But Acorn's found Bucker as well. And Bucker getting chunked out. Transcendent Blades will get popped in here. Bucker's got nowhere left to go. No flash. Does have his heal. Oh, good EQ out, though. Acorn cannot follow yet. But he's going to keep running through. Aurelia very speedy. The heal comes through. Bucker trying so hard. But Wayla's well, just going to scoop this up. No, can't quite do it. Ellie here as well. That's almost enough. The Black Shield goes in. Schwen now around the side as well. Smites him for the kill. And now Beast forced a flash out of a stun. To rotate around, create a pick. Yeah, so dangerous here for Bucker to be anywhere near the team. EQ is out though. Beast will get grabbed. Has to dodge more. Zerath Pulse does have a Zonius, but doesn't need to use it. Never mind. Doesn't have that at all. Flundre forced to defensively use the equalizer, but Bucker chunked out. He can't go anywhere. Beast going to go in on to Acorn though, who's so low as Crystal popped in there with the ulti zone. Now Schwen gets bound immediately after recuing the PYL. Finds Flundre, good Zonis there coming out, but the box will go up as well. Flundre gets played back in, and he's absolutely dead as Wayless gets yet another kill. Yeah, oh, Beast. The double coming out, the tower gonna maybe sustain it for a bit. Schwen getting aggressive there, Wayless poking out Crystal, and Bucker just kiting back as much as he can. But he's got nowhere fun to run. Acorn's going to chase him down as well. Azir can make the great escape once again. Schwen going in. Looks like they do get the kill. Good smite plus five. Gonna Crystal goes down to Imp, who's diving into the base. And Ella, you might be able to get up, but I don't think Imp really cares about your towers. Oh, good Zonius. And smokescreen, not enough. Ella survived for now. Imp is stuck well and truly behind enemy lines. But Wayless snipes yet another kill. Coming out of Zareth at this point. Yeah, Schwen gonna dive in now. So Pwl does get bound up. Beast gonna move his way out with a silver ultimate helping him as well. But Schwen is chasing him out. Ella's now in trouble. Flandre actually pops the equalizer in. Imps around the side. Flandre gets eaten alive there by all the damage from Wellis and Acorn. He's diving in. Ella's down as well. There's four kills. Barker all the way back in base. No way he can defend. And LG are gonna just steamroll through the rest of the base and take the game. Yeah, and you can tell that they had a good time in that last team fight. Imp just providing so much upfront damage.
really well played from LGD, and they'll take the first game pretty comfortably. And we talked about what styles are we going to see here from these teams. LGD played their game, and it looked impeccable for about 20 minutes onwards. Little rocky at the start, potentially, but didn't matter. LGD 